buenos dias, mis amigos. Point number one. All right, so I'm going to make a point based on the fact that when Jesus comes up, up upon the earth, there will be very few people alive and saved. So this, this is going to be the premise or the basis of the points that I'll be making in this video and in the videos to come. Matthew 24 verse 22, except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. In other words, there's coming a point to where if God allowed things to play out the way they are, there would come a point to where nobody's saved. But for our sake, those days shall be shortened. All right, so based on that I want to make my first point saying that when Jesus comes it'll be a moment an hour just like right now it'll be a time just like today it could very well be today All right, so I guess I'll start here. Might as well. As it was in the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be it's going to be in a moment just like right now and a very important very important very very important point is that you should know that when jesus comes in the clouds of heaven it is too late for anybody to get saved that has not already been born of God. Everybody alive that is not saved will die the second death. There is no more opportunity for the unsaved to get saved. And we live in a world where there are all these preachers preaching the most evil wicked doctrine any man could possibly teach and that is this idea that if you're not saved you can wait until after Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and you can't <laughs> 